that the race starts to practice attack and jibe and practice to, to work out a what you need to do for that wind condition um, so that you're all practiced and ready for, um, for for going into it when you're sailing upwind um, but but also just working out who's going to go where who's going to do what and, and how's it going to work because I guess we've found that although we've got a style of where we would like people to be and who's going to move first and who's going to pull which bit of string sometimes that changes depending on, on, on who you've got on board so it's really important uh, for me certainly to get out there and, and do a few tacks and a few jibes uh, with the spinnaker as well just to uh, to get that feel of how's the crew going to work together um, before you go into that race and there's no point in going out first time in a boat together and uh, just go straight there for the start and the guns go and then you try and work it out when you're going up the first beat because your head's not really in the this is how we do it this is how we practiced it your head's in the how are we going to do it and what's it going to look like and you kind of work it out as you go um, and that's where you then have to pick up quickly and, and, and learn from whatever mistakes and, and try and iron it out there so the practice has got to be you know it doesn't matter you don't have to have 20 years sailing experience with somebody else to, to, to practice you just need to go out there and be open and verbal and uh, and, and give feedback uh, across the whole crew um, so that everybody's aware of what's going on, who, who needs to do what, who needs to be where, what is it that we're trying to do. Um, quite often you'll hear um, you know, lots, lots of people shouting and, and screaming for things to, to, to be done uh, and in other boats you, you won't hear a thing. Um, and and you know, everybody's style is different so there's no right, there's no wrong. Um, it's all about understanding uh, you know, what needs to happen as, as everybody prepped. You know, tends to, if it gets a bit heated in our boat it's because We've done something completely different to what the plan was, um, and so therefore you, you know there's a little bit more of a volume associated with the with the chat um, to try and uh, rectify or, or, or fix a problem that's uh, that's come up through the manoeuvre. Um, but nine times out of ten, certainly we're uh, always trying to talk through the whole crew, is everybody aware of what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and what's what's the outcome, what that we're trying to get, um, so that there's no Chinese whispers going up the side of the boat, so that the bowman doesn't uh, try and do something completely different by the time uh, the message gets there. Um, and, and it can be a lot smoother. Um, so again, just getting out there and practicing and talking about what it looks like and what it is that you want to do. And, you know, everybody has an input uh, to, to sail on the boat at the end of the day. There's five people typically on a 707. There's not, you, you can do it with two or three, um, but you need, the, you need everybody to be in sync uh, when, you, when you're working uh, with, with five people on board. Um, so it's really important that everybody works out, you know, what's my key role in, in, in this part. It might be that I need to pull that bit of string. And you might not think that it's a really important bit of string, but actually, if it's all part of that Lego work that, that, that uh, builds the picture together, um, then it is really, really important. I think one thing that you were saying as well is that maybe having some kind of a boat manager can be quite good so that the helmsman is just concentrating on making the boat go fast and somebody else is doing the chat about what's going to happen next. But that makes you go faster too. That's a good idea. T tidying up spinnakers and yeah. making sure you got your spinnaker sorted for the next leg. If you brought the spinnaker down.